Hello, Forza fans. The wait is finally over. All the speculation finally came to an end yesterday at the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase when Playground Games announced Forza Horizon 5. That's right. The Horizon Festival is headed to beautiful, diverse Mexico for the fifth title in the series. You'll get to explore an epic, ever-evolving, vibrant open world landscape full of cacti, volcanoes, tropical storms, dust storms, and hundreds of the world's greatest cars. Forza Horizon 5 is available on November 9th and you can play it day one on Xbox Game Pass. Your ultimate Horizon adventure awaits, so let's go. I'm Today I'm live with Playground Games to talk about yesterday's Forza Horizon 5 announcement. Then we're going to be taking a closer look at breathtaking open world festival location Mexico. After that, we're going to talk about the artistic detail that went into recreating the country's unique landscapes. We'll also get the scoop on some of the game's new features. And before we wrap the show, we're happy to answer some questions. So pop them into chat as long as we go, and we'll see if we can get round to a few of them. And beside me today are two of the members responsible, Playground Games Creative Director Mike Brown and cre uh, say Creative Director of Playground Games. Not that. It's actually the Associate Art Director, Connor Cross. Hello both. How are you? Hey, Charlie. Super Hello. pumped to be here. Yeah, I bet you are. Very exciting. How are you, Connor? Yeah, brilliant to be here. Yeah, it's been a big old 24 hours for you both, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah it's been, yeah, barely slept, to be honest. Yeah, I was, I was, I <laughs> that was, was going to be one of my questions. <laughs> How do you sleep after something like that? Um, yeah, I think I was up at about half one last night in, yeah. the, uh, in the Forza Discord chatting yeah. with the fans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just making sure it all happens. Mm -hmm. What was the vibes like yesterday when, when the show was on? Obviously, you knew it was coming up. Did, like, did you know when it was going to be on in the show? It's did you just have to sit there and wait? It's actually super secretive. <gasps> um, oh, yeah. well, we won't go very, down that route then. Very, very few people know the whole show. Uh -huh. um, you, but you basically know your bits and you, yeah, you yeah. get feedback on, on your wow. bits rather than doing different proposals about what we want to include in it. But um, yeah, you don't know what anyone else is doing. And they'll kind of say things like, oh, it, it works really well in the context of where it is okay. and the game's around it. You're like, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything we should change to make it better? And they're just like, no, don't worry about anybody else's. It's like, okay. And then um, it appeared, and then that was it. The game was out in the world. So tell us more about Forza Horizon 5 then. What is it? What are we expecting here? Yeah, it's the, the biggest, it's the most diverse, it's the most fun uh, Horizon. Yeah, it's the biggest open world we've ever built. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got an incredible new suite of social features, which just make it such a fun, engaging, mm -hmm. compelling social experience to hang out with your friends. And yeah, just couldn't be more excited to share it with the world yesterday. And I can't wait to unpick it. And Connor, we're going to come to you first, actually, because one of the things that everyone on social media was talking about yesterday is about how phenomenal Forza Horizon 5 looks, with some of them even saying it's the greatest looking game of all time. Uh, and as the art director, how does that feel? Everyone's saying these lovely things about what you've been doing. <laughs> oh, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, we've, we've got such a great team here at Playground that, you know, really, you know, know their stuff and have been, you know, and we've got, we're working on Mexico, you know, it's Mexico and just looking at all the ecotypes that we're working on, every single one is so beautiful that, you know, when, when you pull that together, you know, make such a, as Mike has said, diverse, but absolutely breathtaking, you know, set of visuals there that, you know, I can't wait to show more of. Yeah, and it's sort of one of those things where it's Mexico, like it was going to be yeah. a really easy job to make it look beautiful, yeah. right? So, oh yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, we're going to unpick more of that, but let's have a look at some of the excitement you guys shared on social media yesterday with our first tweet here being from Roby4TV, who was sort of just excited that it was true. Um, what's, what's that like? What's the reaction that you guys have seen of people finally getting relieved that it's happening, it's here, and it's also only in a few months as well? Yeah, I mean... I... <sighs> Even though we've obviously we, we, we play the game like the game's a load of fun. Yeah. We think it looks great, but I can't tell you how what the anxiety is like going into that show and yeah. not knowing how yeah, people are gonna react to it. Um, <laughs> and also not knowing like, is anybody else doing an open yeah. world game in Mexico? They could be. Yeah, <laughs> fair dues, you never really know, do you? Um, so it is yeah, the anxiety levels are crazy, but as soon as it happened and you just my Twitter feed yeah. fills up, my phone nearly exploded. Um, <laughs> I sent you a text and you didn't get back to me for hours. <laughs> So we've got another tweet here from Slap Train. It says, holy Forza Horizon 5, let's go. So many new things. There are indeed. We're going to talk about some of them today. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things to come, right? Forza Horizon 5 is huge, as you've already said. 
Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, up next, we've got Confucius Max, who says five is in Mexico. Yeah, I need that ASAP. So we're going to talk about this in a moment, actually. But are you... It seems like a lot of the excitement has actually been because it's Mexico. Uh, is that something you're really, really happy that you've seen fans have really cotton on to? Not the fact that it's another game, but that it's Mexico. Totally. Yeah, it's, it's one... Because we've, throughout the development of Horizon 5, have been really, really getting deep into Mexico and really like, kind of falling in love with that country. Mm -hmm. And it's just the perk so exciting. The perk of the job, that, right? Sorry? <laughs> the perk of the job. <laughs> and it's, um, it's just so exciting to see other people like, feel that love as well. As soon yeah. as they've seen it, I think everybody that, certainly every reaction I saw was like super pumped, thought it looked great. Yeah. And it's just really reassuring to, to know that other people love Mexico as much as, yeah. much as we do. Brilliant, lovely. And our last tweet is from Hugo who says, I'll read the bottom one, the most beautiful graphics <laughs> ever in the history of the gaming world. I'm guessing you both agree, right? You have to, right, Connor? Otherwise, that's a lot of question marks on you, really. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I completely agree. The trailer was absolutely stunning and what a perfect time. Why don't we have a look at the trailer we've all been talking about? Here is the Forza Horizon 5 announcement trailer. Day one with Xbox Game Pass. So obviously the reveal was absolutely awesome. The room I was in alone was screams, jaws hitting the floor, a bit of everything. But I think this clip actually from Forza streamer Ash really kind of sums up how we all feel. Should we take a look? It has to be! Oh my god! Yes, it is! Oh my god! November the 9th! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh Hello, my god! I'm Mike Brown. Hi! <laughs> Play Brown games. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Thank you. That was so fun to watch. The, the hype is so, so real. Uh, Mike, we're going to go to you first. So fans have been hoping for a new Horizon game, and the fact that it's imminent is even better. Uh, the big question really is, and we picked a, a little bit on it before, but why Mexico? Why are we going to Mexico? Yeah, so um, it's, it's the question that um, we deliberate on the most. Like, what, yeah. what location is the, the Horizon Festival going to go to for each game? It's, we, we start thinking about it right at the start of development of a new Horizon title, mm -hmm. and we spend a really long time making that call. Oh, I can um, imagine it's not the quickest decision you'll ever make, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's just, it has all these kind of trickle-down effects for the rest of the game, like yeah. the, the cars that you'll pick, the type of racing that you do, the type of music that you go with. So it, it has really far-reaching yeah, ramifications. So you need to make sure you make the absolute right decision. Mm -hmm. Right from the start, we knew that we wanted to make the biggest horizon ever. And you don't get that far down that path before you realize there's no point making the biggest ever unless it's also the most diverse, because otherwise you're just adding more of the same. 
Mexico is a country which is almost like the whole world in one country. Mm -hmm. It's got snowy mountains, epic canyons, beautiful historic cities, stunning coastlines, jungles, rolling hills, uh, farmland, multiple different types of desert. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just, it's just, it just has everything. And then you add on top of that the fact that it has this culture that's known and loved all around the world, the art, the music, the people. Um, there just couldn't be a more exciting option for the Horizon Festival than Mexico. Yeah, I, I can't. Just the image of like cars bombing around it as well. And you saw how diverse it was from the trailer. So we're, we're going to move over into the art stuff now. And we saw some game footage from the demo during the Xbox and Bethesda showcase yesterday. So I want to get into some of that and talk about how incredibly good it looks. So, Connor, uh, from your point of view, what improvements do we see from ray tracing in Forza Horizon 5? So we have ray tracing in, in Forza Vista, mm -hmm. um, and ray tracing is, is basically the, the closest or the next step to complete photorealism. Um, it's a way in which light is calculated that, and reflections are calculated that is pretty much, you might as well be there looking at it. Yeah. Um, you know, if you look, you look there, you can see the, you know, the fin as the Project One, even the letters reflected perfectly, the same resolution and everything. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, you know, I can't wait for everyone to go check out all their favourite cars and yeah. you know, their setups in ray yeah. tracing. It's going to be amazing. And having spent time talking to some of the community that takes so many pictures in okay. Horizon, it feels like that is going to be a mode for them to really dive into. But also on the trailer, you, you mentioned how diverse it is. We saw a rainforest that was in there as well. Um, and I don't know if it's the UK weather at the moment being so hot, but you can actually feel the humidity in that clip. How did, how did you do that? <laughs> Um, so, uh, you know, as with everything, we looked at tons and tons of reference and, you know, we really want to be as true to that place as possible to make mm -hmm. it feel like you're really there. Um, and, you know, you're absolutely correct. It was, it's, it's super humid. And uh, the way we did that is by uh, introducing lots of volumetric light, mm -hmm. uh, which is a great big volume of, you know, basically particles that light scatters through and um, reacts in the way that, you know, humid and, you know, fog and all that stuff would. Yeah. Um, so it allows you to have all these glorious god rays from all the sun coming through. And, I love the you know, word god ray, that sounds yeah. cool, that does. <laughs> um, and, uh, you, know, you know, all the light diffusion, to get it more technical, um, you know, it's close to um, you know, how that would work in real life as well. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things I really enjoyed from the trailer, actually, was that um, you, would, you would see an image that looked like it was just a picture, but then you would actually sort of like cheekily, the gameplay would then come in off the corner of it, and it was just this like clout image of, yeah, the game actually looks this good. But I'm going to test you now, actually, Connor. Um, so of all of the beautiful uh, greenery that we do see in the game, I want to ask you if you've done your research, how many needles are there actually on a cactus? <sighs> on, the, on the Choya cactus, uh -huh. um, so I know the actual number. Okay. Um, do you know it, Mike? I, I have been told the number. I don't know if I can recall it right now. It's, okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm not going to give the actual number out because there's probably bragging rights on, on Twitter or something. <laughs> but the one person that does actually go and count. Someone will do it after this um, now, yeah. Uh, but do you, want, do you want to take a stab? Do you want to take a guess? I mean, I, I absolutely have no clue, but a number that feels big to me, I'm going to consider a couple hundred, maybe a thousand at a push or something. Yeah, That's so a lot. It, I mean, I was, uh, you know, my, my immediate reaction when I was, you know, told the exact number from, from our great foliage team was, nah, nah, no chance. Right. Um, but, you know, there is 42,000 and uh, give or take <laughs> wow. on, you know, each of those choy cactus. Yeah, they are all, of each choy cactus itself is unique, so it's not, yeah. not exactly 42,000. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, it's, but, it's, uh, it's exact. Give, give or take <laughs> a couple thousand. <laughs> <here and> there. <laughs> wow, okay. And the, I mean, talking about cactus and, and looking at this clip here, the desert is significantly greener than at least what I thought it was going to be. Is this a feature of Mexico that you've, you've brought into the game? <laughs> Definitely. Um, like, like I've said, we try to be as, as true and honest to the location as possible. Mm -hmm. um, we've, we've got several different deserts uh, for all of your desert. Um, desert nuts out there. Um, so, yeah, we've got, uh, <laughs> we've got, we've got community we, as well, sir. So. We have got uh, we've got you know your classic uh, sand dune desert, um, and then we've got the you know the Baja type desert you've seen there that is is lush. We actually call it the living desert in game. Okay. Um, and what, what you're looking at there is actually in in the wet season, which mm -hmm. is summer, um, where it, you know everything's in full bloom. You get the pink uh, pink flowers come out, the San Verbana, all the um, Encelia flowers are out as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's uh, you know it's it's great because it's you know everyone's everyone's preconceived idea of a desert is just rolling sand and yeah barren. sand dunes and it's just dismal like, and you're looking for <laughs> for water everywhere you go yeah. but that's not what that looks yeah. like wow you know, there's there's you know you can find little oasis hidden around here with palm trees and you know it's um 
yeah, there's there's absolute ton of it to go and explore as well. So lovely. Now, obviously, I know what photogrammetry is, but for anyone <laughs> listening, obviously, but for anyone listening at home who may not have heard that term yet, could you let us know what that is and how it comes into play in Fort Horizon Five? Yeah, sure. So. So photogrammetry is, is basically the process of taking hundreds, of, if not thousands, of photos mm -hmm. of a thing you want to recreate from every single angle. Um, and then we basically compile all of that in some software and, and just put it in the game. Mm -hmm. um, and we do that for, for a lot of things. So, you know, like all these rocks here. Yeah, buildings. that bit there, that was the bit I was yeah. talking about in the trailer. <laughs> Ridiculous scenes. Wow. <laughs> we, do, yeah, we do it for everything, all the way down to roads, um, just to try and capture it as, as honestly and as authentic as yeah. it was when you found it yeah yeah it's it's gorgeous i do have to ask though uh i know you guys take your research very seriously so uh who had to climb up the volcano to get the data on that one <laughs> <laughs> so we've uh, we've got a, a a brilliant team of photographers actually um and we even um, you know, got some help from some, some Mexican photographers as well that, that took that team to some, some great spots and even mm -hmm. provided you know, what, what would be the best, you know, the best, most honest representation of that area. And um, you know, they do all the photogrammetry, they take all the stuff back, they distribute all the reference to the team. Um, so yeah, they're, they're very fit now. Yeah, I bet they are, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, lovely. I mean, we're looking at the city here as well. Um, is it this sounds really silly. Is it actually that colourful? It looks incredible. I've never been there, but would you look at that? It definitely is. It definitely <laughs> is. Lovely. Yeah. Um, like, you know, we've, so we've sampled all of the colour from um, from real life locations as well. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, one of the other other cities we've got in in the game is Guanajuato, mm -hmm. um, and we've done exactly the same thing there, where we've sampled every single colour. We've even got like beautiful red terracotta roofs that you can oh, see. Gorgeous. From the distance. Um, there, there is a uh, there's a fun little tidbit. Oh, uh, I love a fun fact. Discover um, that, that might that might be true. It, yes. It, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, what, one of one of uh, one of our team came back and said, "Hey, um, when we're looking at these buildings, they're actually all slightly, you know, they're all slightly different colours. But the law, apparently, it may not be a law. Don't quote me on it. Is that you can paint your house whatever colour you want, as mm -hmm. long as it's not the same as your neighbour's house. Oh, I um, love that. So that's resulted in some, you know, really brilliant pinks and yeah. zany Such green. a diverse city as well, and just looks so gorgeous to drive. It makes me think of Balamori, I won't <laughs> lie, but, but a bit nicer than that, though. Anyway, you've sold me, and I now do need to go to Mexico, but before I get my ticket, uh, let's get uh, talking about some of the new features that we mentioned were coming up. So what is Forza Link? That's the first one I'm going to talk about. What is it, and how does it work? Sure, yeah, so uh, ForzaLink is a new AI assistant that tracks the current status of you and everybody else in the world, as well as your current progress, like through the campaign and uh, like festival playlist activities. Uh -huh. um, and the job of ForzaLink is to try and just remove any friction and barriers between you joining up and playing with other people that you might meet online. Um, so it'll track the things I like to do and it'll track the things I have and haven't done and it'll might do the same for you as well. Mm -hmm. And if it knows, for example, that we both love to do the trial but we haven't yet done it this week, okay. then it might prompt me to go, hey Charlie, do you want to come and do the trial? And then you'd go, yeah, cool. And then it just groups us together, uh, starts matchmaking and then we go off to do that activity wow, together. Wow, okay. Um, it, yeah, in, in that scenario, we might not know each other, we might not have microphones, but the games kind of try and try and just join the dots between people and help just them play together. Just make it a bit together. more social. Exactly. Oh, um, I love it. <laughs> and one of the other things I loved as well, actually, is we saw in the trailer piñatas, mm -hmm. and that's in the Horizon Arcade. So can you give us the lowdown on what the arcade is? Yeah, so the arcade is a, uh, a suite of really, really fun, engaging uh, mini games that you'll all play in a, co a collaborative or cooperative way. Um, they're, a bit, they're a public event, so they spawn in the world, a little bit like you might have seen in, in Destiny. Mm -hmm. um, you drive up to them, there's, there's no loading screens, no menus, you just get automatically signed up by being Stuffing, in the area, yeah. grouped up with some of the players, and then you all work together to try and overcome whatever the challenge may be. In, mm -hmm. this, in this one, you've got to try and smash uh, as many piñatas as you can, but there's, there's a load of other different game modes in there as well. My, one of my favourites is called Mini Missions, mm -hmm. um, which is a little bit like Simon Says, so it just throws up a, ch like a little challenge on screen which might say, like, uh -huh. jump over another car, uh -huh. and then you've got to try and work together with other players players there to try and get, get your cars lined up so that you can jump over them and that only lasts for a few seconds and it'll brilliant. throw up another challenge. Oh, I can't wait to play that one. And there was another one I saw in the trailer as well, which was like, you were, it was like big bowling alley and you were like booping into the sky off speakers. Is that another one of those? Um, so that's not part of the Horizon Arcade. This uh -huh. is what somebody has created within Event Lab. So okay. in this example, obviously somebody on our team has put this together. Um, 
but this is this is the kind of thing that players will be able to create themselves with Event Lab. So someone's gone wow. through, placed all of the things that we can see here, including those bowling pins, uh, and then they set up a set of rules. So there's a, a bunch of rules that will be going on to make this game mode work, but some of the ones that I'll, I'll call out are, so each time you hit one of those pins, they've set up a rule that adds 5,000 points to your team's score. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't have to be a team-based game. They could have had it be a free-for-all or a, um, a team versus team game mode where you're mm -hmm. all fighting against each other to try and smash as many pins as you can. Um, it's actually based on the, uh, the development tools that we use as a design team. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's a, it is a really, really powerful tool set um, and one that I really can't wait to see what people create with. I, I could see me spending a lot of time in that, especially streaming with like getting a big convoy together and hanging out and having fun. That looks like 100% my cup of tea. And there's, it's all incredible and there's so much to look forward to. Um, and I'm saying this very personally, but you guys do continue to not only improve upon this amazing series with each new title, but actually come up with new, fa with new ways for fans to actually play the game as well. So um, we know chat has been really excited about Forza Horizon 5. So are you guys ready for some questions from them? Ooh. I guess so. You've kind of like made that sound kind of scary there. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the hot seat. Okay. So first question is from Cockney Charmer. By the way, hello, Cockney Charmer. Thank you for joining us. Uh, can we have some convertibles, please? Yes. Yeah. Um, there you go. <laughs> Signed off. Sorted. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There'll be a few convertibles uh, in the game at launch. You'll be able to just, pr just click. Take the roof down. Click the stick. Oh, yeah. Click, yeah. Click, click stick the radio on. Drive around the desert. Sorted. A left stick in. Is it? And uh, I think it's a left stick. One of the sticks. <laughs> one, of, one of those. <laughs> I think you're right. I think it is. More related like, to come on which horn, stick it, it is. So, yeah. And then. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it takes. Perfect. Now, we touched on this very, very loosely already, but uh, Lone Hermit Crab asked, will there be a big city and not just small towns? You mentioned that there were a couple already um, when you spoke before, Connor. Um, so we've, you know, Mexico has, has got arguably one of the most beautiful cities ever, and that's uh -huh. Guanajuato, and it's huge. Um, and with that, um, it's kind of two cities in one, and it's got a like an aqueduct system underneath. Ooh. That, um, so you've got all this bright, colourful, you know, beautiful architecture up top, mm -hmm. and then it's like, you know, really gnarly, tiny little, you know, roads that all in tunnels underneath that you can drift in and around. God, that sounds incredible. Yeah, it, it's it's weird how as as we're building Horizon games, you find that if if the city existed before cars, mm -hmm. it tends to be really, really good for driving. <laughs> <laughs> Modern cities are all grid-based, right? Which yeah. don't make for the best driving experience. Yeah. Whereas uh, Guanajuato, is, every road is curving, banking, mm -hmm. dipping underneath another yeah. road. It's just, like, it's got this incredible organic road network, which just, I mean, you, if you were designing it from scratch, just out of your imagination, you, you probably wouldn't yeah. come up with a city that was this. That sounds brilliant. Yeah. That sounds really, really fun. Yeah. Um, Ray has also in chat uh, has asked, every Horizon game has incorporated parts of the car culture present in its IRL setting. What elements of Mexican car culture are you bringing to Horizon? And five. Great question. By the it way. is a great question. We're not actually in a position to talk about uh, cars too much at the moment because mm -hmm. we're, we're still uh, landing the final car list. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say that yeah, it's the thing that we really take pride in. Uh, in all of our games, we, we really want to capture that local car culture, and that's absolutely true for Mexico as well. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to um, hold off on this one actually, and say we'll, we'll sure. cl cl closer to launch. We'll really go deep on this, but the, for, just for now, we'll. we'll uh, no, I love that. I mean, simply knowing uh, you mentioned before that. The culture of Mexico as a whole is, is very much a character in the game. Mm -hmm. So hearing more about that is obviously ideal. Uh, Danny88 has asked a question very close to my heart. Is there a drag race in the game? There are several uh, several drag races in the game. Yep. Yep. Yes. There is one that runs through the main festival site as well, which is especially cool. Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, is that... I don't really know how to ask this, but like, how do you, what is the festival site? Is it still this sort of area that has like a couple cool races in, or is there, is it still just like a, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm just excited and I want to talk about Horizon Festival, you know? I can probably talk about the festival. <laughs> um, so, surprise, there's going to be more than one. <gasps> um, Ooh. But the main festival site, which is going to be Horizon Mexico, okay. um, is, is built on a really old racetrack. Mm -hmm. So there's, there is an awesome racetrack off to the side of it. And it's also built on a old airstrip as well, in the middle oh. of the desert. So, um, you know, you've got all your typical festival stuff going on yeah. uh, with a badass drag strip right in the middle of it and a racetrack off to the side as well. Gorgeous. I love it. I cannot wait to see it. Uh, on off PS chat uh, says, do we know if the weather changes? Anybody know? I think there's two people here who might know. Can you confirm if the weather changes? 
the weather does change Wait, there and you go. it is local as well this time. Oh. So uh, you can be at one side of the map and you can see a storm kicking off and you can oh. drive all the way over there. And you could do off. storm chasing. Yeah, you can do that. I love it. Um, you can, I mean, we've even got sandstorms. So that was uh -huh. a tropical, we can do a tropical storm. So you can do it. You can drive into a tropical storm. Mm -hmm. um, and you know you can go inside that thing, and there'll be loads of you know leaves flying off trees and everything going crazy. Uh -huh. And then you could probably leave that and see a sandstorm on the other side of the map and go drive straight into that thing as well. Wow! Yeah, it's, it's one of the really uh, interesting things about about Mexico and the way it presents challenges for us with seasonality. It's a massive country and it has really huge elevation changes. You find that. You can almost have different climates at the same time yeah, yeah. In, in the same season. Imagine. Um, so in, in winter, which is the dry season, uh, on top of the volcano, it's covered in snow. You can get blizzards. Oh, wow. Um, but it's the dry season. So you go down to the, down to the beach, it's blazing hot. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so you can actually be in a blizzard, drive down the side of the volcano, arrive at the coast, and it'd be, and it'd be blazing hot. Yeah, sunburn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow, amazing. I definitely would be. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, no, I, I fully would be burned. Um, DJ Customs in chat, lesser question, but just, just says can't wait to drift tap cactus. I mean, fair dues. I mean, I, I, one of the things I did want to know is that, I mean, I, again, don't comment on this if you can't, but one of the things I suffer with hugely in Horizon is hitting all the trees. So will the cactuses move out the way when I hit them or are there some rigid ones in there? You can, uh, you can smash all the cactus. Yes. You, you can drift tap as many as you want and there are hundreds. I'm afraid it would actually be side swipe if it smashes. Oh. Dr drift tap yeah. is only for <laughs> immovable objects. <laughs> there you go. I need to get technical. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. But now you know and now we all know. Uh, Green Machines asks, will there be any animals? And also, second question, will there be seasons? We spoke a little bit about the seasons already. Um, so yes, there will be animals. Um, uh -huh. We have we, we saw flamingos in the. Uh, in are these the demo. smart animals, by the way, in the way that the sheep moved out the they way? Are. Will the flamingos move? Actually, yeah, they're smarter this time round. <gasps> so <Ooh. we've> got... <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> that does. <laughs> so, so we've got wild dogs. Um, you know, anyone who's been to Mexico will know there's you know wild dogs that you can see everywhere, and now they'll be you know sleeping on porches or sleeping out. In, you know, wow. around and you can uh -huh. rudely dis disturb them and uh, chase them around <laughs> to your heart's content. Um, we've, got, we've got donkeys, uh, goats, flamingos, as Mike said, uh, that, that people have seen in the, in the gameplay reveal. Um, some birds, parrots, that sort of stuff. Lovely. Uh, Chrome Finance says, again, not really a question, just we want long highways like Autobahn. Is that something that's featured in the Mexican? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, as we say, it's the... Uh, it's the largest map ever, and it does have a big highway that runs kind of corner to corner. So it's probably, wow. I haven't measured it, but I, I imagine it must be the longest. Um, it's got to be, yeah. It's got to be the longest highway we've ever had, yeah. Well, in comparison to an English motorway that feels like it stretches for years. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. And last but not least, uh, Wolfgang302 asks, what is new in customization? Oh, wow, Wolfgang. That is a, that, 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 there's a big yeah, answer for that one. Question, yeah, right? there's no, no doubt will I uh, certainly forget some of the options here. So for car customization, um, there are over 100 new rims, over 100 new uh, visual upgrade parts, thousands uh, of performance upgrades. Um, you can also paint your brake calipers, which uh, is a thing that people have been clamoring for for a number of years. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I did say once that we'll add that to Forza Horizon 4 and then proceeded to not add it for at all. Um, <laughs> So, it's but this time it exists. Now. Yeah, there you uh, go. This time it's real. I've promised it after we've made it, rather than before. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we've also added a ton of new character customization options. So, mm -hmm. um, you can customize your hair, hairstyle, hair color. You can choose prosthetic limbs. You can set your pronoun. You can choose your voice. Uh, so, there's much more options when you're customizing how you appear in the game, yeah. uh, as well as how your car appears. I made my character day one. I don't know if you know this. I made my character day one with the same crown and like the duck boots and I haven't changed her since and she has like the I think it's like the Pulp Fiction emote and I just thought she was perfect as she was I'm not touched her so I love that you can have all of these like new elements to make the real you on day one I just think it's cool great. superb great to see you really engaged with that feature oh <laughs> yeah no I, honestly I just found the bits I wanted day one and I was like you know what that's banging that's exactly right. how I want my character to look so you know maybe I have to get a bit deeper on this one but 
That's everything. That's everything we have time for today. Lads, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'm obviously, and also on behalf of everyone watching in chat, really looking forward to hearing more about Forza Horizon 5 in the coming months. But as I said, we are at the end of the show, so it's time to say goodbye. And there's been so much exciting news in just 24 hours that I physically cannot handle it any longer. Uh, one more time for those in the back, or if you missed it right at the beginning of the stream, Forza Horizon 5 will be available on November 9th on Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Windows 10 PC, and Steam. And you can also play it day one on Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Game Pass subscribers can get early access on November 5th with the premium add-ons bundle. And if you're an eager beaver, you can even pre-install the game today right now. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Stay tuned to the Forza channels for franchise updates and more Forza Horizon 5 news soon. Adios, everyone. <laughs>